Hello, I'm Norman Walberger. We're here at the University of New South Wales and we're doing some arithmetic with matrices in this problem. We're in chapter five now of our linear algebra course and this problem asks us to do some basic arithmetic involving matrices of different sizes. So we have to add a few matrices, multiply some, add three times the identity to A and so on. So the main thing to uh, remember is that operations with matrices here are not necessarily defined. Generally speaking, the matrices have to be the right sizes in order to be able to add them or multiply them. So we'll keep that in mind as we go. Question B. Calculating the matrix 2 times B. Well, when you multiply a matrix by a number, it means that you have to multiply all of the entries by that number. So we're just going to multiply all of the entries by 2. Minus 4, 2, 6, 8, minus 2 and 10. Great. How about next one? A plus B. There's a matrix A, there's a matrix B. Notice that there are different sizes. This is a 3 by 3 matrix. This is a 3 by 2 matrix. They're not the same sizes, so you cannot add them. All right. So A plus B doesn't exist. It's not well defined. How about B plus C? Well, B and C are the same sizes. They're both 3 by 2 matrices. So we can just add them in the regular way. And that means we just add them component-wise. So each corresponding components are added together. So the minus 2 and the minus 3 are added to give us minus 5. 1 plus 2 in the corner there is 3. And carrying on, 3 plus 1 is 4. 4 plus minus 4 is 0. Minus 1 plus 6 is 5. And 5 plus 2 is 7. There's B plus C. How about A plus 3 times the identity? Well, A is this big matrix. 2 minus 3, 4. 3, 2, minus 2, and 1, minus 1, 3. And we're supposed to add 3 times the identity matrix. What's the identity matrix? Well, in this case, it's a 3 by 3 identity matrix, which has 1's down the diagonal and 0's in the other places. So to add those, well, we're just going to take this matrix and along the diagonal, we're going to, things are going to change. We're going to add 3 times 1. In other words, 3 to each of the diagonal elements, giving us 5 minus 3, 4, 3, 5 minus 2, 1 minus 1, and a 6 down there. All right, how about the next one? B times A, the product of this matrix times this one. Well, B is a 3 by 2 matrix, and A is 3 by 3. So the product BA is not defined. Why is that? In order for it to, to be defined, we require that this dimension and this dimension are equal. And that's to say that the number of columns of the first matrix and the number of rows of the second matrix have to be equal. Here they're not, so the product doesn't work. So having said that, let's have a look at the order in the other way around, A times B, which is actually part G of this question. Here we have a 3 by 3 matrix, that's A, and B is a 3 by 2 matrix. In this case, these two numbers here, they do agree, and so the product is defined. So let's just see how that product goes. Very important to know how to multiply matrices. So here is the matrix A. And here is the matrix B. All right. And this is a uh, th 3 by 3 times a 3 by 2. The inside dimensions here equal, 
So the result should be a 3 by 2. What we're ending up here should be a 3 by 2. And it's 3 because there's 3 rows here. And it's 2 because there are 2 columns here. And when we multiply matrices, what we're really doing is we're multiplying rows of the first matrix times columns of the second one. So for example, we're going to take this row and we're going to multiply it by this column. And that's going to be one of several similar kinds of products that we're going to take. And we're going to put all those kinds of products in a big array or matrix. So let me show you how that goes. So to multiply a row like this times a column like that, the, uh, the procedure is to multiply the first entry here times the first entry here. And then to add the product of the second entry here and the second entry there. And then to add the product of the third entries. Okay, so that would be, for example, here 2 times minus 2 is minus 4. Then plus minus 3 times 3, that's minus 9. And then plus 4 times minus 1, that's minus 4. All together, we get minus 4, minus 9, minus 4 for a total of minus 17. All right, that goes in the 1-1 one, one entry because it's the first row and the first column of the various possible products we could take. All right, now let me carry on with the other multiplications. We're always taking rows here and columns here. So I'm going to move over to this next one here, which will be the same row times the second column. 2 minus 12 plus 20. 2 minus 12 plus 20, that's uh, like 22 minus 12, it's 10. Now moving to the second row, for times first this column, minus 6 plus 6 plus 2. And then multiplying the second row by the second column, 3 plus 8 minus 10, which is 1. And now we move down to the third row and multiply this row first by this column, minus 2, minus 3, minus 3, this gets minus 8. And then over to the second column, 1 minus 4 plus 15. 1 minus 4 plus 15, I guess that's 12. So there's the product of these two matrices, product A times B.